Well, good morning, friends. It is a sunny January day before we have a snowstorm tomorrow. I thought I would bring you along on some homemaking today as I do some decluttering, some organizing, make a meal for you. Nothing really special going on today. Just gonna bring you on on my day in the life. So I have to feed my littlest one here, nurse her soon, and then just do a, just some normal activities with the other one. Always trying to get a little learning in in the morning and that's just exactly what I love to do. Just have those special times with the little ones and then get going on the tasks. So I already have two loads of laundry in the washing machine. We had company two nights ago, so got those sheets washed got the bathroom cleaned and the rugs are in the wash and so just always having laundry going and that's a tip just keep that laundry going if you have um, a lot that you need to get done anyways let's get started with our day Shape is this? Oval. Alright, so for snack time, I quickly whipped up some of my super easy banana cookies. It's just bananas mashed. I used rolled oats, raisins, craisins, then I put some chia seeds in there. Bake at 375. They're really chewy. They're not quite like a cookie, so, but they're more nutritious, I think, than a cookie for a toddler and myself. Then I decided for Nadia, she started eating food, so I started with eggs avocado, um, the yolk of the eggs, avocado, and then I did squash and sweet potatoes. So I just, I'm doing more of the baby led weeding. She puts, grabs like the chunk and she'll stick it in her mouth. And so then I have coconut oil that I'm gonna throw over top with a little bit of salt and that will be some of her food. Okay, so a little decluttering. I've had this in storage since this summer. I found it at a garage sale for $3. It is nice and large, as you can see. I was debating on using it in our little fixer-upper for blanket storage, but I found, if you saw my last antique flea market haul, a trunk for that. Um, and this is really wobbly. I, It's kind of cute, you know, but I think I'm just going to sell it because people are always looking for baskets. I don't know. I'll list it and if it doesn't sell in a while maybe you guys can tell me what to do with it but I just don't need more stuff upstairs especially stuff that's really wobbly I guess I could use it for toys too but it's just such an odd shape I don't know we'll see I think I'll list it on marketplace and we'll see if there's any takers all right another thing I'm going to get rid of is this drying rack now I use it all the time but I'm gonna get a better quality it's wooden these dowels come out all the time and so it is time to upgrade and update. I've heard over the door ones are kind of nice too, but this is just down in our basement right now. So I'm gonna list that and get rid of that too. So trying to declutter some bigger things. It's pretty wobbly, isn't it, Nevaeh? Yeah. yeah. So this is what happens when I am busy doing some other things. Um, she likes filling bags, but she has this little pop-up tent that she has decided to fill with all her books. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to Let's put all see. the put all those away, yeah. Huh? Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna vacuum this out of the dryer because. Um, I haven't cleaned it actually really since we bought this a year and a half ago. So got the vent area 
cleaned off but you know that's a good maintenance thing is to do it more than once a year I think so I need to get all that clean just so that it's it's better and fresher I'm sure there's better ways to clean it too I'm sure I need to do a little research because I need to also clean my washing machine out as well just run a probably a clean cycle <laughs> Okay, lunch today, my daughter's having some leftover biscuits and gravy and vegetables. Husband's having some ramen stir fry, which the ramen, I just use the packet without the seasoning in it. I make it with chicken and cabbage, carrots, peas, all the good things. And then there's also a chili option. So I'm not exactly sure what one I'm gonna have because there's some of this left and some chili. So leftovers is always a great option for a lunch day. All right, so it was about 1.45 and I'm going to prep the supper. I'm gonna do a Zuppa Toscana soup. So I've got some mild sausage thawing and then I still have some potatoes and onions from my garden. The potatoes have some nice eyes on them so I need to use those and then this um, onion is growing again. So I'm gonna wash those up, get those cut Nadia is still struggling to fall asleep, so we'll see if I actually get that done. I'm gonna do it in the slow cooker, well, the instant pot actually, because it can be on high for like okay, four, four hours or on low for seven to eight. So I'm going to prep that if I can, and then um, maybe get a little more decluttering done if the girls continue to nap. favorite parts of the day. I definitely will savor this. <laughs> okay, so I'm in my bathroom because I wanted to clutter just a little section of our bathroom cabinet. Um, this one right up here. I have a few things in there I know I haven't used in a long time. I need to check expiration dates on things. So I'm going to quickly go through that. It'll literally take me about five minutes because um, girls are napping and so it is perfect time to do a speedy declutter. Okay, here's what I'm getting rid of. This nasal spray is expired that my husband had to use when he had nasal surgery. I don't use this type of lotion at all. I just had it because I get it given to me each Christmas. So I'm gonna get rid of that. This I've had for like three years, so I'm guessing it's probably no good. This I no longer use either, so I'm gonna donate that. And this was also given to us, so I'm going to donate that because it was barely used. Um, okay, to this fingernail polish. Um, by the way, this Young Living lipstick is 
amazing. I wear it in a lot of my videos if you see. So if you are interested in natural beauty products, you can check out my description box link there. Anyways, um, I do paint my nails like once or twice a year. <laughs> and so I probably have way too many options for what I want to do. I like having these little nail files and foot scrubbers and this is like a little nail care kit. But the rest of this, I'll probably keep three or four colors. That's what I'm going to pare down to. So I'm going to get to the nitty gritty here and figure out what colors I will actually wear. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Get rid of. Keep. So, yay, I think I can handle that. That's more than four, but pretty good. Got rid of half, keeping half. Okay, there's even some space left. I love that. And I'm all about just using boxes you have. So I've had this since college. Don't even know what it was, but that's perfect right there. So we were gonna go through the car wash. The car wash um, ate my money. It sprayed a little bit of water. And so I need to wipe it down real quick uh, to get some of these bug splatters off of the vehicle. But what a bummer. I wanted to get it really clean before snowstorm comes tomorrow because our vehicle has not been cleaned for several months, but so is life. I asked my husband to go through his shirts to do a quick like five minute declutter because he has quite a few shirts and I put the laundry away and so we're laughing here because he cycles through the same ones over and over again. My wife says I have too many shirts. <laughs> That's really what she's saying nicely. I have too many shirts. You do because I only have half of a drawer of this and he honey, has But I'm different. Full. I know. It is you okay have, to be You different. have a lot of closet space honey. You have this whole half over here, and I have this and right here. Because you've got some other paint ones. These are paints. There, that's nice. Okay, so he got rid of quite a few shirts, so now he says I have to get him some new ones. But he's got, fill my drawer. Yeah, he's got a lot more space there now, and he can just cycle through the same ones again. So get your, get your spouse involved if you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the soup. I did do it in the instant pot. Um, it worked really well to do that. That way I could saute the meat on there and put the kale in there after and the heavy cream and potatoes are nice and soft. So super simple. This is like the low budget recipe. So I'll link that in the description box and salad and just some more biscuit with butter on it from leftovers last night too. Well, I am back after supper. I had to go to a um, women's church leadership meeting. I am part of our women's leadership this year. Um, I do quite a bit in our church actually, so I'm actually our church treasurer, and now I am on the leadership committee for our women's group. My husband and I help lead youth group as well. We lead worship every once in a while, about every I guess once a month or so. So we are actively involved in our church, but I had a meeting for a couple hours and it was really productive, really good. I'm kind of the personal development person. It's a new um, t uh, a new position, I guess. So I'm excited for that, just to help women grow in their faith too. But my husband was taking care of the girls and they didn't go down real well. So I'm gonna do a little kitchen cleanup and um, then finish cleaning up the floor because we had a spill before I left and so it was just kind of chaotic. But I hope you enjoyed coming along today. It felt pretty productive. I got some things done, just brought you along on this day and just shared what a normal day in the life is like for us. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I'm gonna do some good old nighttime kitchen cleanup. Thank you.